Screener King offers our customers the ability to build and price round mesh screens directly on our website. As you will see in this video, there are literally millions of possible screen configurations, which means we do not stock assembled screens, and all of our screens are built to order. We do offer a super fast turnaround if that is something you require, but please call us in advance for those urgent purchases that need an expedited turnaround. If we happen to see anything in your configured screen purchase that looks unusual, we will contact you directly to clarify and make any necessary adjustments on the back end. Thank you for choosing Screener King. The first step in purchasing your round mesh screen is identifying the screen type and the screen size. We offer both standard tensioned mesh screens and sandwich screens, which contain trapped nylon sliders and or balls to help keep the screen mesh clean from trapped particles. Each of the listed sizes that you will see on the screens page, for example 30 inches and 48 inches, are the nominal machine size, and the actual diameter will be slightly different. We have complete screen dimension information listed at the bottom of the screen category page as you can see here, as well as on a secondary image for each of the screens, as you can see here. By far the most important selection when building your screen is selecting the proper wire mesh size. Wire mesh nomenclature can seem confusing at first, but it's actually fairly simple and we're going to explain it for you here. The mesh number indicates the number of openings in one linear inch. So for example, a 10 mesh screen will have 10 holes in one linear inch, or 100 holes in a square inch. The exact hole size is then determined based on the mesh number and the wire thickness. For customers looking for durability in their screen mesh and who may not need as much of a throughput volume, market grade mesh may be ideal. For those customers concerned primarily with throughput and less concerned about durability, tensile bolting cloth may be the best choice for you. Mill grade wire is a middle area for coarse to medium applications. We have a video on our YouTube channel titled Mesh 101 that explains all of that information in depth, so feel free to go ahead and watch that if you need further clarification. We also have a mesh chart on our website that contains the detailed specifications of each mesh size. It is important to note that the mesh options shown here are all 304 stainless steel. If you need 316 stainless steel or T430 magnetic stainless steel or are looking for carbon steel, please call us as these meshes are not always available in the listed sizes. The sizes in clear fractional openings such as a quarter inch or a half inch have pricing that varies, so we prefer to quote those sizes. Screens are fabricated by tensioning loose mesh in a jig and then bonding it to a rigid, hollow, stainless steel screen ring. For non-FDA applications, customers should choose general purpose epoxy for ambient temperature applications and materials that are not overly abrasive. Customers with temperatures ranging from 200 and 300 degrees Fahrenheit may need to choose high temperature epoxy and customers that contain applications exceeding 300 degrees, contains excessively oily material or is very abrasive, may require the mesh to be spot welded to the ring with thin strips of stainless steel on top. Customers with food safe applications should not choose general purpose epoxy or spot welded screens as the spot welds are considered harboring areas and the general purpose epoxy is not safe for food contact. FDA epoxy is rated to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and produces a smooth porcelain like finish. Some customers may consider the exposed wire edges on the outside of the glue surface to be harboring areas, in which case a secondary layer of epoxy called encapsulation can be applied. Lastly, only epoxied screens can be returned for rescreening as spot welds on the welded screens cannot be removed to produce a flat surface for the new mesh. As mesh size gets finer, so do the wires. Some of these wires are extremely delicate and excessive pressure or blunt force to the screen can produce holes. Customers choosing 100 mesh or finer screens may consider adding a coarser backing mesh to serve as structural support. Unless otherwise specified, an 18 tensile bolting cloth mesh is used as the backing mesh. Please note however that backing mesh can limit the effectiveness of nylon sliders at cleaning screens, so take that into consideration if you're using a perforated plate and slider assembly. Some customers may use a center tie down support in their machine to reduce the trampolining effect on the center of the screen, which can reduce the life of the screen or reduce the effectiveness of the screening process. 
For those customers using a tie down, a center hole is created by first bonding stainless steel plates or washers on both sides of the mesh and then removing the mesh in the center of the stainless steel plates to form a hole. 18 to 30 inch screens use a 3 inch center lathe and larger screens use a 6 inch diameter center washer. Some customers may have other requests that need to be communicated to the fabrication team, such as not including a new screen gasket, not including silicone sealant at the ring and mesh edge, specifying a different backing mesh other than 18 TBC, or specifying a different center plate diameter than the standard. Please add any of these special requests in this section and we will contact you if those requests change the pricing of the screen or cannot be accommodated. Lastly, please specify the quantity of each build specification required. Remember that for screens shipped on a pallet, each additional screen will only slightly increase the shipping cost, so for customers purchasing a 48 inch and a 60 inch screen, we always recommend purchasing several of them at a time to reduce the per screen shipping cost. Thank you very much for choosing Screener King, and please remember that we are always available by phone or email to answer your questions and make sure that you get a screen that will work for your application.